years after slavery, the black community was doing better. We were going up, up, up. That was Candace Owens arguing that, hey, it is socialism that has led to the terrible economic situation for people of color. And the debate that she had was with Cornell West, as you might have seen in that video. Laura Ingram hosted this debate segment. And Candace Owens said a lot of really dumb things throughout. Let's take a look. Come on, not the 100 socialist. years after slavery, the black community was doing better. We were going up, up, up. Then suddenly they socialized our community via welfare policies and the black community started going down, down, down. And you're sitting here no. supporting a candidate that is advocating for making that on a larger scale. He's saying, we're not just gonna do it to the black community, we're gonna do it to every community in America. Well, you know his policies do not work. You know that socialism has led to more deaths than anything else in the last 100 years. So the talking point, Sanity. I know. So the talking point that Candace Owens has been pushing, she's no longer with Turning Point USA. But when she was at Turning Point USA, she was paid to say that it is not systemic racism that leads to, you know, the disparity in wealth and income between, you know, white individuals and black individuals in America. It's because of socialist policies. It's because of welfare that the black community is being held down. Now, first of all, that makes no sense. We know, and we're gonna we're gonna debunk that in just a second. But think about who funds Turning Point USA. They're the very corporate donors that corrupt our politicians to, to push for deregulation, to push for tax cuts. So look, they're very savvy. It is a multi-pronged approach. It doesn't just stop at corrupting politicians. They attempt to corrupt education. They attempt to you know, corrupt young minds, which is what's happening with Turning Point USA. And it's terrible and it's disgusting because systemic racism is an issue. We've given you multiple examples of that throughout the years. And just hearing her try to talk about history is hilarious, especially considering what she had to say about white nationalism in the past. When you think about whenever we say nationalism, the first thing people think about, in at least in America, is Hitler. You know, he was a national socialist. But if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is, is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. He wanted to globalize. He wanted everybody to be German. And thinking about how it could go bad down the line, I don't really. I don't really have an issue with nationalism, I really don't. What they won't tell you about this, the statistics and the rise of white nationalism is that they've simply changed the data set points by widening the definition of hate crimes and upping the number of reporting agencies that are able to report on them. Black conservatives may have the audacity to think for themselves and become educated about our history and the myth of things um, like the Southern switch and the Southern strategy, which never happened. Yeah, okay. So look, uh, people like Candace Owens lead pathetic lives because uh, they're paid to sell uh, their own identity out. And so that's just the uh, reality of it because none of the things that she says is true. Uh, and so I, get, I guess they get paid handsomely, I don't know how they sleep at night. So let's begin to correct the things that she said. First of all, she on two different occasions there supported white nationalism, which has murdered black people in this country for hundreds of years. It was white supremacy, the idea of that, that drove slavery, Jim Crow, uh, the Klan, etc. Now you have a African American woman paid to defend white nationalism. That is disgusting. Okay, and then in the earlier clip, she talked about, oh, African Americans were doing fine for a hundred years after slavery until uh, welfare came to help them. Really, they were doing fine. How about the lynchings? How about the Klan? How about the uh, bombings of the churches where? Little girls were massacred. You think they were doing fine? How about when they didn't allow African Americans to vote, even though they had the right to vote? That's what the 1964 Civil Rights Act and Voting Rights Act were all about. That's so the horrible years where they're being oppressed against the law and against the Constitution, you call the good years. Mm -hmm. And then when someone actually tries to help the African American community, you say, oh, that's when things started to go down, down, down. I mean, it's so perverse. And by and the way, she didn't even mention Jim Crow laws, right? Of Which, course, yeah, she didn't mention any of any I don't of the stuff that actually if, matters. I don't know if she's just pathetically stupid and doesn't know any history at all, or she knows the history of how brutal white nationalism and supremacy has been African Americans and thinks I don't care at all. Where's my money? 
Oh, the only thing I, the only color I see is green. You want me to sell out black people and lie over and over and over again about how wonderful white people were to us as they were lynching us in the South? Great, where's my check? I'm in, right? None of it is backed by facts. I mean, listen to what she said about the Nazis. She said it would have been fine if they just stayed in Germany. Really? If they just murdered all the Jews and the Poles and the minorities and the LGBT community and the Roma and all those people inside Germany, that would have been fine? That would have been fine. Do you know what Hitler did to African American athletes? Of course you don't, because you're a moron that doesn't know a goddamn thing, okay? And so now she says, "Oh well, look, if they just made the trains run on time inside Germany, everything would have been hunky dory. It's just absolutely grotesque. And look, the heart of the conversation or the debate was about socialism and how destructive it is. So she attempted to fearmonger about socialism. And look, Cornell West, you should watch the full debate because he did such a fantastic job um, rebutting her and, and giving real evidence and, and logic to her arguments. But one thing that really stood out to me was, okay, so you don't like welfare programs, you don't like any type of government assistance. Then maybe you should speak out against Donald Trump wanting to give farmers fifteen billion dollars in subsidies because of the damage he's done as a result of this trade war to these farmers. By the way, the majority of this money, I would argue, doesn't even go to the small town farmers who are who are the most affected. Usually, it goes to some of these massive corporate farms, but. Anyway, my point is, what do you think about that? How come there's never any anger about that? There's never any pushback by the right wing when it comes to that. So I wanna just double down on that, because Bernie Sanders gave a speech today that actually highlighted that difference. So uh, he, he says, I'm in favor of democratic socialism. What is that? That's social safety net programs like Social Security and Medicare. Now, are those things, uh, did they kill millions of people as Candace Owen says? No, they actually save people's lives. Is that somewhere else? No, it's right here in America. So uh, Social Security, what is a poll at? 84%. In fact, that was an old poll. Recent polls said 87% of Americans, including the overwhelming majority of Republicans, say they would increase taxes on the rich to make sure that they protect Social Security. So it's incredibly popular, it's literally the most popular program in America. And what is that? That's democratic socialism, okay? Medicare, poll at 77%, it might be higher now, democratic socialism. Firefighters, yes, firefighters used to be privatized until they realized, oh, if you save the rich guy's house, but you don't save the middle class guy's house, it turns out the fire spreads, just like disease. So they, that's what FDR did, that's what we do here, and it didn't kill anybody. What Mao did, Stalin did, had nothing to do with any of that. They were brutal dictators. So now, what is uh, corporate socialism, what Anna's referring to? Bank bailouts, mm -hmm. um, tax subsidies. You know that the oil companies are still getting billions of dollars in subsidies, for what? For what? They're the most profitable companies in the world. Mm -hmm. Why should they be getting subsidies? That is socialism for the rich. And Candace Owens doesn't mind any of that. She's like, did the check clear? Then I love corporate socialism. That's how she makes a living. That's what she's paid, she's paid to tell these horrible lies to, lies to deceive people because of corporate socialism. Ironically, she's also the benefactor of that. She doesn't do right. anything productive That's for a right. living. That's right. Okay, she just takes checks and then says, what do you need me to say? I'm here for you. And so she lives like a socialist every day, Chenk. Okay, and, but it's a corporate socialist. And since she has such strong words against uh, socialism and, and these, uh, you know, uh, government safety net programs, I just want to note that a Harvard study done in 2009 uh, indicated that 45,000 Americans die every single year because of our terrible. Uh, capitalistic healthcare system. Uh, we also have this huge issue where, um, I don't know, capitalism uh, has led to private prisons where now there's a profit motive to imprison as many people as humanly possible and to pass these insane tough on crime laws. So has that had any impact on the uh, black community in America? Because I believe it has, but you don't want to talk about that. That's the type of capitalism you love, right? So look, it's not to say that you can't ever be a black conservative. If you care about balancing budgets, if you care about, hey, did the SNAP program go too far and create some degree of dependency, although it did save and help millions of kids get food assistance, etc. so they don't starve to death. 
Well, we can have an intelligent conversation about that. But an intelligent conversation is not Candace Owens telling you that the period of lynchings in America was wonderful for African Americans. And that if the Germans had just murdered Jews inside of Germany, that everything would have been great. No, she is the definition of a sellout. Like what you see, click the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the bell to never miss another video from the Young Turks.